Hello. I am often asked how to create a relational database on FileMaker. I am going to keep this tutorial quite simple. There are three basic processes in creating a good relational database. The first one is creating the relationship between two tables. Second one is to make this relationship workable. Third one is to build on the relationship that has been set up. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make the relationship and how to make it workable, how to build on it. I will leave it for another tutorial. It is important to understand the overall architecture of FileMaker software. A single FileMaker file can contain more than one table. Each table is in effect an independent database. You can create relationship between these tables within a single file. FileMaker, however, also allows you to create a relationship between a table within one file and a table within another file. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a relationship between two tables in a single FileMaker file. In this FileMaker file, I have created two tables. Creating tables is quite straightforward in FileMaker. You have to go to File, Manage, Database, and then you choose tables and then you create a table here I created a table called operations and click the create button then you go to fields and then you put the names of the fields and create the fields so I created three fields for the operations table and for the demography table I have created four fields Let's have a look at those tables again on the layout. So this is the demography table. I've got four fields, surname, first name, hospital number and age. And in the operations table, I have created hospital number, date of operation and operation. If you carefully look at it, you can see that these two tables share a common field. Let's go to demography again. You see, as you got the hospital number, and in the operations, you got the hospital number. So, although these are two independent tables, I can create a relationship between these two tables using a field that is common to both. So, how is it done? You go to file again, go to manage, go to database. You remember you, you, you clicked on tables to create new tables. You clicked on fields to add fields to each tables. And for relationships, you have to click on this relationship tab. Here we can see the two tables that I have been speaking about, demography and operations. And the demography table has these four fields and the operation 
table has these three fields. They both have a common field. So if I were to drag from the demography table the hospital number to the hospital number on the operations, then I have created, in effect, a relational database. You can click on this to further refine the nature of the relationship. At the moment, I have said that when the hospital number in demography is same as the hospital number in the operations, then there is a relationship. You can choose these options to further refine how the relationship is uh, facilitated. So, you see how easy it is to create a relational database in FileMaker. In the next part, we will look at how to make it practicable. In the last section, we created a relationship between two tables, creating a relational database. Is that all to relational database? I wish it were. It is the beginning. So where do we go from here? Let's look at an example. This is the demography table and I have created a record for Ahmed Blogs and his hospital number is 12345. We will now go to the operations table and add an operation that he might have had. So we go to operations. So this is the operations table. We'll create a new record. And if we remember, his hospital number was one, two, three, four, five. Let's say that the date of the operation is 05-07-2016. And what operation did he have? Let's say he had an EVD inserted. So now these two records, one on the demography table and one on the operation table are linked by the hospital number. But you saw that I had to put in the hospital number. It was in, uh, in the operations table as well. It was fine when it's just one or two records when you have to every time type the hospital number. But if you have to do it again and again, then it becomes a tedious process. No one will want to use a relational database where you have to enter the common field in each table by hand. So what's an alternative? The alternative is to make it semi-automatic using a button. That's what I will show you in the next section of this tutorial. For a relational database to be practicable, what you would want is that you put a record in the demography table then you click a button and that takes you to the operations table and creates a new record in the operations table and puts the hospital number of the patient that you had just entered in the demography table. So how can we do that? Well, we first of all have to create a button. So let's create a button and let's call it create operation and we have to write a script. So this is not just a 
single line script it's a multi line script so just click on this perform script that brings you the specify script dialog box and we want to create a new script which is called create operation record click ok so what we want to do is to set a variable so we want to set the variable you have to use the dollar sign for a variable dollar hospital number so this is the variable and this variable takes the value from the demography table the hospital number field of the demography table so so we have now created a variable called dollar hospital number which takes the value of the hospital number field of the demography table now what we will do is we will say that we want to go from the demography table to the operation table so that's we click go to layout so in the go to layout we specify which layout we want to go we want to go to the operations layout that's the operations table once we are in the operations table we want to create a new record so let's say new record and once we created the new record we want to insert the hospital number that we had entered in the demography uh, record before we jumped to come to the operations table so how do we do that we say set field so in the set field we say the target field is the field in the operations table and the exact field is the operation number in the operations table and what value are we going to give that is the variable that we created that's hospital dollar hospital number so here you can see let's go through so we created a variable called dollar hospital number and for that variable we gave the value of the hospital number field of the demography table then we jump to the operations table and created a new record and we inserted the value that we carried over from the demography table to the operation table in the hospital number field this way we have automatically entered the linking um, value field in the related table so as soon as this is done these two records are linked so this these four lines are the most important part for me when you are creating a practicable relational database so let's now go into the browse mode let's see what happens okay so if I click on this button what it should do is that it should go from this demography table to the operations table and copy this hospital number to the record that's being created in the operations table let's see whether that's done there you go there you go it's voila it's done so it's now gone to the operations table and it's copied the hospital number there so this way you have got you don't have to every time type the hospital number in the related tables so in this tutorial I have shown you how to create a relational database in FileMaker and also how to make it
practicable so that creating related records is not so tedious that every time you have to remember the value of the linking field. Now that we have created a relational database that is not so tedious, where we go from here? And that's the fun part. Now we have to build on the relationship. I will leave that to another tutorial. Thank you and wishing you a good day. Bye for now.